Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and in this series we will focus on the management part of checkpoint firewalls. Not the checkpoint like uh, management station itself, but more about documentation, automation and monitoring. So we will build in our lab, we will build a management network containing the new sky lane from checkpoint. This is a new monitoring tool that using telemetry instead of SNMP, so it's a lot better. And then we will be using Ansible for automation. And we will drive this via Netbox, that is like the source of truth. And Netbox as standard doesn't have like a firewall module, but you can work around that. Um, Ansible is more or less the industry standard for automation and Skylane is built on Prometheus and Grafana so more or less we will install a few Ubuntu servers in a dedicated management network so if we start to talk about Skylane so if you don't want to wait for my series to be done you can already start yourself and it's the SK178566 and it has instructions on how to install this Grafana and Prometheus and so on. Just keep in mind, you need to make sure that you have the correct Jumbo uh, hotfixes applied on your uh, gateways and management stations to be able to use this. So this one is depending on that you have an external server. So you cannot install it on your checkpoint server itself. You need to have an external server running Prometheus and Grafana. And Checkpoint, I think Checkpoint at least, have made a video on how to install this and it's quite good. So I will just link this in the description below. So they go through almost all the steps in the way. They don't show you how to install the Ubuntu server. There is different videos for that one, but they show you how to install Prometheus and Grafana and also connect it to your gateway. And then you're able to see like um, the stats. And Ubuntu is free. So you can just download it from ubuntu.com slash download, no problem whatsoever. Um, there is a GitHub referring to this YouTube video with all the instructions, more or less you just copy paste and it should work. And then you can also go to the community and uh, Kaspars, he have made some nice dashboard that works for the clusters as well. So. This is both checkpoint driven and community driven. This is a step in the right way because we need to move away from SNMP where you pull like a device every five minutes, every one minute. It doesn't work anymore. You need to pull it a lot more frequently. And the easiest way to do that is to use telemetry. More or less that the device itself, it sends the data to, to uh, well, to a server that collects all and do nice graphs of it. And Prometheus and Grafana is also like industry standard. Everyone is using it, so Checkpoint is doing the correct way. And when we come to, to Netbox, this is also open source. And if you want to check like a Netbox instance and see like if this is for you, there is a demo environment up and running, so you can just go to demo.netbox.dev and then you can see the product itself. It doesn't have support for firewalls as of yet, but this is community driven and it also supports plugin. So you can script your own plugins or you can download a community plugin to have additional functionalities from the base product of Netbox. So the base product of Netbox is more or less an IPAM, meaning controlling your VLANs, your IP addresses, your prefix, your VRFs, etc, etc. And this is really good on fixing and having order of your IP prefixes. It's managing IP addresses extremely well, actually. Um, it also supports like physical devices, how you rack them, how you connect them to each other. But I will not go into detail when it comes to Netbox in this video. That will be in a different video. And the last part um, of this management network will be Ansible. Meaning, 
the the box <laughs> the thing <laughs> that will actually run the commands on the boxes so it will connect to it will use netbox as a source of truth meaning it will gather information from netbox how we want to configure it and it will send the commands to the checkpoint boxes or to the cisco aci or whatever and do the configuration so the goal of this is to have a nice monitoring and to have some automation in place so we can work easier so i hope you will enjoy the series and um, see you in the next one